for most kids, Disneyland is a wish list destination. Julie! For Julie Pekarski Probst, the wonderful world of Disney was her personal playground. We did three shows a day and two parades, six days a week for 13 weeks. And you know what? It was the most awesome childhood. You're in Disneyland. The then 13-year-old from Webster Groves was paid to wear her Mickey Mouse ears, performing as a Mouseketeer. Lunchtime, we'd get to go behind Space Mountain the back way and ride the ride like three or four times. And at night, we didn't even leave. We'd stay, I remember, and dance into Papa to run, run. All right, then here's the basement. But before Julie earned her ears, she put in years dancing and performing as a Muni kid. And you would go in and do your little singing, your dancing, and then you'd wait all day long. They kept making cut after cut after cut. And I was nine years old. Her move from the Muni to Mouseketeer could have come straight from a Hollywood script. She was six when she came in and just a phenom and very ahead of her time for her age. She really was. And you've always been special Aww. to me. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it all started in the 1970s when her mentor, dance instructor Janice Hawk, literally took her under her wing. The two remain close. You taught me. Do Everything you? I know, I, and Thank I mean you. that genuinely from my heart. You are my mentor. Thank you. Thank you. We heard about the auditions for the new Mouseketeer Club. So I called some of my friends that I worked with at Disney and said, where is this audition? I have this great little girl. Wait till you see her. Julie was one of a dozen kids chosen out of 25,000 who auditioned to join the new Mickey Mouse Club in 1977. I was one of those 12, and I will say, you know, Life changed forever with that. So it truly is thanks to your training at the Muni that you were cast as a Mouseketeer at age 13 from St. Louis. Oh, yes. Her Muni experience consisted of midnight rehearsals and touring around the country. That work ethic paid off when she arrived in Hollywood. The Mickey Mouse Club, we filmed every single day. I would learn a dance routine and turn around and film it because the show was on every single day. The show was canceled after a year, but the Mouseketeers continued to perform at Disneyland. Take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. Julie went on to play Sue Ann Weaver on the 1980 sitcom Facts of Life for three seasons. She reunited with fellow Mouseketeer Lisa Welshel, who played Blair on the popular sitcom. And Julie still keeps in touch with co star Kim Fields, who played Tootie. And my daughter, Jacqueline, is down at Emory in graduate school, and she babysits. Oh, that's for, wild. For Kim's kids. So it's like, okay, this is too crazy. The next generation facts alive kids, they're babysitting each other. During those teen years, Julie's mother made the move to California with her. She, God love her, she kept everything. Aww. Teen magazines fill her trunk of memorabilia. Tiger, Tiger Beat. Beat. Oh my gosh, yes. look at that. She recalls seeing the same kids at auditions. Right Rob Lowe, Christopher Atkins from um, Blue Lagoon, Brooke Shields and going on a date with another aspiring actor named Tom Cruise. I knew Tom Cruise before he was Tom Cruise, and I jokingly say, oh, you never know, Tom Cruise could have been your father. I told you I... Hi, Terry sent me, like I'm Julie. Julie continued her TV career with guest starring roles on popular shows like Three's Company. Hey, like, like, you look really mature for your age, you know? Different strokes and soap opera General Hospital. Modeling and national commercials also kept her busy. She recalls her first one for Golden Graham Serial. You walk in this room and you sit down and there's about 50 other blonde hair, blue eyed girls. Very humbling experience. I drink Dr. Pepper and I'm proud. And then there was the Dr. Pepper campaign with their memorable jingle. And if you look around these days, there seems to be a Dr. Pepper craze. But I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, you're a pepper, wouldn't you like to be a pepper too, right? That one? So with David on, that was a great, a great commercial, good run, got my car over my 16th birthday, and that's why I remember driving that on Facts of Life. From Taco Bell, our subject, the work, combination platters, the question, which is your favorite? And she'll never go hungry. She earned a lifetime of free food from Taco Bell for her role in increasing sales for the fast food chain. And this is one of those golden little gold books to read. And that's you? That is me. That and in is here, so cool. that, that is me there. And what was great is so with my children, I got to read books to them. And I was reading to them and saying that was their mommy. Tutored on set, Julie worked with teachers from her alma mater, St. Louis's Villa Duchesne High School, to get her degree. She went on to graduate from UCLA. After college, Julie returned to St. Louis, and following a short stint as a local TV entertainment reporter, she married. 
Julie put her acting career on hold to raise her three children, who followed in their mom's dance steps, performing at the Muni. All the home videos are of us, all three of us, just singing and dancing and running around. It was also the hardest thing to do. I, I had to watch all three of them at one point <laughs> on the stage at the same time. They all had to get equal time yeah, of from course, mom, you know. Of course. But it, it was that's... wonderful, and they had a blast doing that, so I think that's a great memory. Youngest yeah, son, you. Christian, a senior at Yale, is the only sibling pursuing an acting yeah, career. It was so amazing to have someone who knows the business so well and knows what it is to be a performer and the vulnerabilities and scariness and excitement of it all, to have someone there to support you to do all that and to encourage you and guide you along the way was always so wonderful. And on top of all that, to be able to do it at a place where she grew up performing too was extra special. That's a collectible. These days, Julie is director of special events with Variety Club, the children's <laughs> charity, and is back in front of the camera. Shut up! Okay, just stop! She recently co-starred in the indie film, The Importance of Doubting Tom, filmed in University City. Just stories. She's hoping her Muni and Disney dancing days will pay off with a chance to land a coveted slot on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. She's upping her chances by creating a Facebook page ready for fans to like, putting her center stage and in the spotlight once again.